welcome to Graphitorials. In today's video, you will learn how to create eye-catching poster with just a few clicks in Photoshop. So, this is um, what we are working on today. What we are working on today. So, without wasting much of our time, let's get started. I'll give you access to download all the resources I use for this project. So, let's go. To start, we need to create a new workspace. So to create a new workspace, go to new, find new. So I'll be using 10 by 10 inches. Let's say poster, eye-catching poster. Eye-catching poster. Okay, I'll be using 10 by 10 inches. So leave your view to default. Okay, so the next thing you do is to bring in your background, the images and everything, okay? So, so for the image, let me show you how to work on the image, okay? Let me show you how to work on the image. So I downloaded this image from Freepik, the, the model image. So once you open the image in Freepik, they have automatic tool that I can use to crop your um, you can use to crop your image okay so so let's use this as an example Once you open your image, you go to remove background. Okay, it will automatically remove the background for you. Then after you, have, you must have removed the background, then you can download the image and use it for your projects. Okay, so this is it. So this is how I got it. Okay, so this is how I got this image. So I will give you access to download them. Okay. So I've already downloaded the image, so I'll bring it in. So drag it, drag and fill it, fill up the workspace. Okay. So the next thing is to do is to bring in the background, go to file, place embedded. So guys, if today is the first time you come to my channel, kindly go to my channel and subscribe. Then turn on the notification bell so you can notify enter my drop new video. I hope you have done that. So let's continue. You drag and fill up the workspace. Okay. So you need to reduce this a little bit. Let's change this to add let's add black, pure black at the back. Then we'll reduce this a little. Reduce this a little. So zoom it in, then press Ctrl S to save. Let's save this. Okay, so this is it. So the next thing we do is to start typing in our test energetic energetic wave. Okay. So and J tick. Okay, so I'll be using this font. Let's separate this. I'll still give you access to download the font. Press Ctrl T for free transform. Okay, drag this. Keep it somewhere here. Okay, so let's shift this image inside more. Okay, this is okay. So Let's type in the next test with with party. Okay. So press Ctrl T. Adjust this. Keep it somewhere here. So let's change the font. I'll be using this. 
engrave gothic okay so bring this together okay press ctrl t enter ctrl t press enter save this press ctrl s to save okay so take this up a little bit so the next thing we we'll do is to type in other test and everything okay so music policy DJ Sportless okay hype man Ubrazy Ctrl T, press Ctrl T to adjust this. Then change the font to Nexa. Nexa heavy. Okay, remember? No? Let's see, Maze Monster Arts. Monster Arts. Okay, align this to the center, to the left. Press Ctrl T. Press Enter. Then shape this. Okay. Then zoom it in and let's zoom it in. Then highlight this and make it bold. Highlight this too. And make it bold. Okay. So. Change this to white, then this to red, press Ctrl T, or field transform, press enter, so, over over and drag your tango to, drag and drop it, Click on it. Gradient overlay. So see the gradients I'm using. You can use any one and turn it. To use that one I used. Okay, so you can do it like this. Okay. So this is it. So let's type in our date. So let's see. 2nd December 24 So press Ctrl T Enter Increase this Reduce this Place it to the center. Okay, twenty twenty four. Bring this together a little. So it's better now. So group the layer, hold control and select this to press control G. To group date type let's type date here so press ctrl j to duplicate it and keep it somewhere here change it to 10 pm ctrl t enter the test panel bring this together I think this is good this is good okay like this press ctrl s to save so let's move this up a little okay I think it's better like this it's okay so let's type in the last test club worldwide
and press Ctrl T. Press Enter. Let's try red color for the test. Uh, okay, let's use white. Okay, I think this is better. Then go to file, place embedded. I've already downloaded everything. So I'll give you access to them. Press enter. So this is the red. I'll click on this. Color overlay, change it to pure red and press OK. Okay, so hold Ctrl, select the um, icon and the club and press Ctrl G. Press Ctrl T to adjust this. Then let's put down the last um, stuff for this design. Hold Shift. As you drag, hold shift as you drag so that you get, get a perfect circle. Okay, change it to red. So let's type in the test. A plus. Press Ctrl T. Reduce the size. Change it to white. Ctrl T, Enter. So let's type in the last test. Drain responsibility. Ctrl T, Enter. Press Ctrl T. Go over to this place. Print it to minus 90. Press Enter. Then drag it to this place. Okay. Press Ctrl G. Okay. So this is cool. So let's reduce this energy energetic small. A little bit. Press Control. Press Enter. So let's add emboss on this test. Double click on it. Click on emboss. Okay. So this is the one I use. I use this. Change this. Use my settings. Check all this. You see how my own is. Use these settings you see here, and you will get exactly this. Okay, so double click on these two, click on it, use these settings I use it so that you get exactly this. Okay, so so let's summarize this design. Hold Ctrl Shift Alt, then press E. Go to File Camera Raw. Press OK. Press Ctrl S to save. So guys, um, this will be the end of today's tutorial. If you know you learned something new from this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on, turn your, on your notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop new video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.